All right, let's talk about when a player enters the game and how to handle that properly. So I am making this video really quickly because I've seen a lot of forum posts and things of that nature where people are having problems with player added and they don't know what's the problem. And it always seems to be this thing that I'm gonna show. So let's just get right to it. So if we have a function called player added, so we're trying to capture when a player is added to the server. So the event there is game.players.playerAdded. We're going to connect that to our player added function. So just like that, right? So when a player is added to the game, uh, pass that event on to the player added function, and we get the player object as our argument. So we could print out player.name has entered the server. Simple enough. So if I click play, I should see Crazy 32 has entered the server. So really simple, awesome. However, there's a lot of people that have code like this, and they might have other things in here, whatever, um, and they complain that this isn't working. That for, for some reason, uh, they're not getting this function to fire. You know, they're not getting this printed out, and they're really confused, what's the problem? Um, I wanna show you what the problem could be. So if I throw just uh, this right here, wait to at the top, and if I click play again, Okay, it's been about two seconds. Uh, you'll notice it doesn't say that I entered the server. So what's the problem? The problem is actually really simple here, right? Within those two seconds, my player has been added to the game, uh, and then I've hooked up the event player added. This is only going to work for players added at this moment and afterwards, not prior. It doesn't add. It doesn't have an effect in like. Uh, in the past, you know, there's no retroactive event firing here going on, uh, and so in a, in essence, this has missed my player being added into the game. That's the problem here, and a lot of times, you know, people don't have a wait to at the top here, but they might have other things going on. Maybe they're doing a web request or setting some other things up or loading a module that does some yielding, any sort of thing that takes a little bit of time uh, away from getting here could potentially cause your script to miss players being added into your server. So what is the workaround? How do we fix this? I'll throw that wait to back up here. The way around this is pretty simple. All we need to do is add another routine at the bottom here where we scan through all the players and call this function ourselves. So I'm just going to do that right here. So just do a generic for loop and use the get players event on the player service and that will give us an array of all the players in the game currently and then we can call player added ourselves awesome so really it's that simple to fix this so if I go back here and I click play it's still gonna wait two seconds but then we see it knows that I have entered the server so we fixed it However, this is still not perfect. I think there's one other thing to be done to this that is helpful. Because if our player added function is doing any sort of yielding, you know, maybe it's doing something like player.character added wait. Uh, and this will actually cause problems too. I'll get that in a second. But if we're doing something like that where we're waiting, then it's possible uh, that this is going to be bad for the player. It's not really a performance issue in terms of like bad performance like you typically think but imagine three players get captured right here uh, but you have to wait for each character to be added so uh, you're gonna have a problem where you know the, this is yielding and waiting for one player to be added until it goes to the next player uh, and so that's not ideal and so what we want to do is wrap this in a spawn like this so this is just the simplest way of spawning a new coroutine, essentially, basically a, a new thread, uh, and calling player added. That way we can simultaneously collect all the players and call player added at the same time. So again, pretty straightforward. That's all you have to do. Now, kind of a gotcha with this that I think is really important still is in scenarios where we do get to the step and get players that are already in the game, things like this could cause problems. So imagine this wait too, by the time that happens, 
not only has my player entered the game, but my character has been added also. That means we have the same issue with this event, where character added, well, the character already has been added, and so we actually miss the character being added, and this is waiting for the next time my character respawns. So that's a problem. So, uh, in this sort of instance where we have code like this, uh, there's a few different ways we can go about solving this. Uh, if we need the character object, we could do something like this, local character equals, and we could do just some little boolean, object, boolean logic here, so we could do player.character, or if that's nil, we can actually use an or statement and say or player.character added wait. And so this is kind of some fancy Lua syntax here, but basically what we're saying is uh, resolve this variable character to the player's character, or if this is nil in this case, uh, use this instead character added wait and what the the wait event or the wait method on an event will return whatever that event spits out which would be the character in this case and so we'd still get the character object result um, for those that may be familiar with other languages this is not a ternary operation uh, this is just a logical or it's just the way variables get resolved in Lua it's just a fancy way of doing it you know this is the exact same way you could have done this instead. If not character, then character equals player that character added weight. But that's just lengthier. We prefer this. Uh, now, if you want to wrap it and capture every time the player char character is added, uh, like we could do this instead. So we could do uh, we we want to fire the first time in case that the player is already there. So we do player.character or player.character added weight and then hook up that event again to that event, just like that. So this is going to, again, bypass the possibility that the character already exists in the game um, in just a, a safer way of capturing all of this information uh, in that scenario. So this is kind of the safe way in order to capture both players entering the game and their characters spawning. And that's it.